Would you like to make better French press coffee every single time? Well, follow our 10 easy tips today to help you learn how to make better French press coffee with every brew. Tip number one, always start with fresh coffee beans. Make sure to check their expiration date, order from a local roaster if possible, or make sure to check out frenchpresscoffee.com to get some great coffee for your French press. Tip number two, always grind your coffee beans right before you brew to ensure that you get the absolute best flavor out of your coffee. Tip number three, always use the proper grind for your coffee beans. You'll wanna use a great grinder to grind your coffee, such as a conical burr grinder. Don't use a grinder that has blades that you would usually use for grinding spices and things like that. You wanna get a grind that is similar to coarse ground salt or even better, breadcrumbs. Tip number four, find your coffee to water ratio. Start with a baseline of about seven grams of coffee to four ounces of water. And seven grams is equal to about one tablespoon, just like this mixing spoon that I have right here. That's gonna give you a great baseline to start with. After that, you can adjust your coffee up or down depending on the flavor that you, that you would like. If you want a fuller body flavor, you can use more coffee. If you like a little bit lighter flavor, go ahead and use less. Tip five, use good quality water. Remember, coffee is mostly water. Don't use reverse osmosis or distilled water. Those minerals are important in getting the flavor of your coffee just right. Tip number six, always use the right temperature water. You're gonna to wanna to use water that's about 195 degrees to 205 degrees Fahrenheit and don't use boiling water. If you do not have a thermometer, and you should have one to be able to measure your water temperature, but if you don't, boil some water and then leave it sitting for about one to two minutes. It'll be just the right temperature to give you a great brew. And bonus tip, if you would like to get less bitter coffee, go ahead and use the lower temperature water. Use about 195 degrees Fahrenheit and also lessen your brew time from about four minutes to three minutes. And we'll mention some more information about that in one of our next tips. Tip number seven, preheat your French press and your mug for about one minute before brewing. This is important because this will keep your coffee hotter longer. And in our tests, a preheated French press and mug will typically yield coffee that's going to be about 10 degrees hotter on average. That means coffee that's gonna be hotter longer. And after all, who likes warm coffee? Tip eight, brew for four minutes if you want a great cup of French press coffee. If you would like your coffee to be a little less bitter, brew for about three minutes, but no less. And always, always do not brew for any more than five minutes. Tip nine, don't let your coffee sit in your French press, especially on a hot plate. This is just going to over extract the flavor and it's gonna give you bitter coffee and coffee that's just simply not going to taste good. Transfer your brewed coffee to a thermal carafe so that you can always make sure that you're able to enjoy all of your French press coffee and you won't throw away as much at the same time. And finally, tip number 10, always clean your French press after each use. And you'll wanna check out our video hack that will show you just how you can do that with fast and easy tips. Did we forget a French press tip that you think that we should know? Make sure to tell us. We always love to hear your French press tips. And of course, make sure to share our top 10 French press tips with your French press coffee loving friends. They're gonna love you even more with the tips that we give you here at frenchpresscoffee.com. Well, I hope you liked that video. And if so, why don't you go ahead and give us a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any more of our highly caffeinated videos. And if you subscribe, I'll give you a nice coffee quote. Go on, I'll wait. Go on, subscribe. There you go, thank you so much. And now for our coffee quote. I must get up. My coffee needs me.